and you can run this to the house and then you can control each sound separately you know that's pretty cool as well um and my, while we had it on the other side you have an entire little like um Yep, you got an entire little effects loop on the other side as well. Send and return. Then you got your output, and then on the back you have a XLR and, and um, all the switches for that post, pre, um, you know, lift, ground. You got all that stuff back there. So you got plenty of options um, to use it. It's plenty flexible. No IRs on it, though. You know, no IRs included on it. But here we go. Just the... Um, just the effect channel. So, very nice, clean channel. So, very nice sound to it. And then you have the tube side of it. And if you just want saturation like I use on this pedal, you um, just turn the um, drive to zero. Like, just turn the drive to zero. It's not going to turn it off. What it's going to do is it's, no, it's not adding any gain. It's just adding just a little bit of saturation to it. Um, your sound, and then you can use the volume knob to adjust the volume on it. Very nice sound. I'm gonna push into the drive a little bit more. Now we getting now we getting a little bit more firmness to it and a little bit more um over the slight overdrive.
So you can push it pretty hard there too. So let's bring that back. So while we're right there, we also have another. Um, let's go through some of the EQ and stuff. Um, you have a bass, a low mid, and a high, high mid, and a treble um, knob, right? But even within that, you get a little bit more flexibility with this mid switch toggle, um, which is located right here. It's one in the middle. And what that does, it even bo um, boosts in the low mids. Um, you can switch that to uh, like a middle um, mids area, you know, a broader scoop area or broader boost area. And you also can expand it to change it to another frequency in the high mids. So you'll have like essentially like two high mid knobs of different frequencies that you can tailor to, you know, your sound. If you want to tailor your sound in that area a little bit more. So, you know, because a lot of times if you're boosting the bass, and then you switch that to high mids and you can do some tailoring up there. You can do, you know, and essentially what you would be, you would be having a scoop anyway, because if you boost the bass and you don't boost the, the low mids as well, that scoops out, you know, because you didn't raise it up with it, you know, so you don't always, sometimes you can just do subtractive EQ where you might just cut the low mids, you know, um, so like I do here, I have the bass boosted. I cut the low mids. I have it set to low mids right now, or what you've been listening to, and and I have the high mids um, boosted some, and as well as the treble. So essentially, I'm um, scooping out the low mids just a little bit, and the really most of the scooping is being done by the boost I have on there in those particular frequencies I like boosted. So, um. Yeah, then you next to that you also get a uh, a switch that allows you to change what the other foot switch does, whether it bypasses or mutes, you know, um, your signal. So if this is like your always on pedal, you don't ever bypass it. Like saying you're using it like your amp head, so you're not gonna ever bypass it. But you want to have a mute switch, you know, you can just switch that to mute, and then bam, you got an instant mute switch for you to. Um, tune or whatever it is you want to do so you know that that has a lot of flexibility to the unit in addition to um you know all the other features you have on here so yeah let's go ahead and play through some more um matter of fact i'm gonna go i love how they have notches on the the EQ, so you can essentially bypass the EQ if you wanted to by putting them all to the center at flat, you know, so that. Mm -hmm. 